Well, Seoul is one of the world's most modern metropolis with its state-of-the-art infrastructure and skyscrapers. But sitting right in the heart of the concrete jungle is Changdeokgung Palace, the most well-preserved of the five remaining royal palaces of Korea's Joseon dynasty. Now, arguably the most beautiful of Seoul's main palaces, our Yi Shin shows us to Changdeokgung, Korea's UNESCO World Heritage. In storybooks, ancient palaces would usually be located by a seashore or in an endless green field. But that's not the case with Changdeokgung Palace, a remarkable structure built centuries ago located in the middle of the now congested heart of Seoul, which was once the home of Korea's royal family. Amid skyscrapers and the hustle and bustle of urban Seoul, these historic grounds preserve the beauty of traditional Korean architecture, attracting a wide range of visitors both from home and abroad. Yeah, I experienced some tranquility in a very busy part of Seoul, actually, and I thought, hey, that's interesting. Uh, let's stop by, and I saw the UNESCO sign, so it must be beautiful. So uh, that was the reason. And what I uh, think is very beautiful is the, the very detailed paintings on the roof parts, and also um, the layout of the buildings uh, in the nature itself. Originally built as a secondary palace after the main Gyeongbokgung Palace, also located in Seoul, Changdeokgung Palace gently blends into its natural surroundings thanks to a minimal presence of artificial architectural features, thus preserving the landscape at the foot of Bugaksa Mountain. That particular virtue is one of the main reasons UNESCO designated it a World Heritage Site. I live in Busan, and this is actually my very first time at Changdeokgung Palace. I've visited Gyeongbokgung Palace before, and I saw a lot of visitors walking around the castle wearing the Korean traditional clothing, hanbok. It looked so graceful and fitting, so I thought I'd do the same and take some pictures while I'm here. And she's not alone in choosing hanbok. To wander around the courtyard of Injongjeon Hall, where centuries ago major state affairs, such as the coronation of a new king, were conducted, you might think you've traveled back in time to the Joseon era. The outfit really helps bring visitors closer to this remarkable place. And if nothing else, it makes a great photo opportunity. Compared to other palaces from the era, Changdeokgung's design and layout are quite unique. Whereas most palaces were rigid and structured, Changdeokgung emphasized the harmony with nature. But its most valuable treasure is hidden in the back. Now, this is the part that truly differentiates Changdeokgung Palace from any other historic site in Korea. The secret garden, used as a place for leisure by the royal family centuries ago, and nowadays, this peaceful space offers visitors a rendezvous with nature. At the center of this expansive garden to the north of the palace is a large pond called Puyongji. And to the side is a pavilion once used as a library where the king and the government officials studied and discussed politics. The pavilion has a gate named Osumun, meaning the ruler should always put his people first. As the place where the king contemplated how to rule a nation, it couldn't have a better name. Changdeokgung Palace is steeped in Korean history. It may be ancient, but the natural beauty conserved in each corner keeps it feeling new and brimming with life. Representing the modesty of Joseon era royals, who respected their people and their surroundings, Changdeokgung Palace may still have something timeless to teach us today. Yunshin, Arirang News.